today i'll solve one numerical method in chemical engineering problem so that is find the molar volume of ammonia gas at 56 atm and 450 kelvin using a radilic non equation of state tc critical temperature is given 405.5 kelvin critical pressure is given 113.3 atm and a and b and two are constants that's that are also given now by using plotting and search method yeah, where i am going to calculate the molar volume so one method is plotting and search another method is bisection newton raphson method and fourth method is interpolation method so i'll show you how to solve by using all this method now we know that red link non equation is p is equal to rt v minus b minus a b b plus b and here p is the pressure of the gas p is the molar volume of the gas t is the absolute temperature r is the universal gas constant and a b are the const, uh, constant uh, specific to the gas behind considered right so a b are the constant now uh, all these value are given so here p is given so 56 atm b is molar volume so that we are going to calculate and t is absolute temperature that is also given 405.5 kelvin r is universal gas constant that is 0 0.08205 liter atmosphere mole kelvin a is also given b is also given and now we will get uh, that p is equal to if we put that r t uh, even a uh, b values even p is also given p is nothing but 56 now we will get that equation of means it is a non-linear we will get non-linear equation and if we solve that non-linear equation we will by using bisection method we will get the root of that equation so that root will be the molar volume even if we apply neutral option method so we have to uh, 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 we will get the root of the equation that will be the molar volume now i will uh, show you one by one now first is plotting method okay so before that so these parameters are given so before that i am going to calculate if i use ideal gas law what will be the volume so we know that pv is equal to nrt so p is the pressure of the gas v is the volume of the gas n is the number of moles of the gas t is the absolute temperature and r is the ideal gas constant so now if we calculate v is equal to nrt by p so n is 1 1 mole r is 0 0.08205 liter atmosphere and t is liter atmosphere mole kelvin t is uh, 405.5 kelvin and p is given 56 so from ideal gas law we will i'll get molar volume is 0 0.66 liter per mole now here we are going to calculate molar, molar volume for real gas that actually by using red leak non equation so now here by plotting and search method so first uh, we know that ideal gas value so this is uh, from that ideal gas law we got that v that is 0 0.66 now by uh, now putting v in that equation so this is this is the equation this is the equation now putting that v value v is the only uh, unknown is there so uh, just put that v value now we are getting that p okay so yeah, so this is the equation so uh, everything known r t v minus v v we are going to calculate uh, or we are putting that v value uh, we are going to calculate p and uh, this is a this is a this is b all are given okay all all are known now here the trick is by plotting and search method so if uh, so after 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 putting that v is equal to 0 0.66 so we'll get some p value some p value now if p is 56 atm then that will be the molar volume uh, molar volume otherwise what i'm going to do just adding uh, or maybe subtracting 0 0.01 until desired adding or subtracting subtracting uh, 0 0.01 until desired p is achieved okay now first step one take that v is 0 0.06 now we are getting and, and and we are going to calculate p means here p is actually calculated here so that is after after putting v value so actually getting 48.8 atm so that is not is equal to 56 atm so that is not the a molar volume from red leak non equation 
Now take some subtraction point 0 0.01. We are taking small value than 0 0.66. So ideally, ideal gas law we get 0 0.66. Now we are taking 0 0.65. Now what we are seeing that we are going to calculate P. So P will be 49.58 means it is increasing. So now we have to reduce the volume. So we will achieve that 56 atm. 49.5 like that way uh, we can search and we will get that particular that molar volume now here i am that giving the tem uh, table so 0.66 we are get i uh, mean here the pressure is 48.8 then reduce uh, the volume reduce 0 0.01 like that so we are getting calculating like that so now you can see here 56 uh, so that is uh, uh, when we are choosing that 0 0.56 volume so that pressure will be 56.2 so it is nearly equal to p is equal to 56 if we refine that if we take 0 0.001 so then excel calculation will be lengthy and then we will get exactly 50, uh, 56 now here by search method so v is 0 0.56 uh, liter per mole and p is 6.2 atm so that is the answer by using uh, search method we can also plot that we can also plot that okay whatever data we are getting so from that plot so 56 we have to go to that line and then from that we can easily calculate that v so now here uh, we can calculate v so now here uh, we are getting that so this is the v and this is p so here p is equal to 56 and v is equal to 0 0.56 so search uh, uh, plotting and search method we can easily get uh, what is the molar volume now coming to the bisection method now and the radling equation is the nonlinear equation so we can solve this nonlinear equation so radially non equation we know p is equal to rt v minus b minus a by v by v into v plus b now if i reorganize an equation become fb so uh, that p minus rt v minus b so here that uh, if if i or reorganize if we reorganize so that will be the equation so equation uh, means if we get the correct root uh, then that equation become zero so here uh, that equation fb is equal zero means we have to calculate the v in particular v that fb will be zero so that will be the root of the equation so for that for bisection method so we have to choose an interval and in that interval we will get uh, in that interval we will get the root of the equation now here we are choosing interval vl means lower volume lower volume and upper volume and then we are calculate fvl and if fvl and fvu have the opposite sign then we can follow by we can we can use the bisection method so now after getting that opposite sign so then we can calculate the vm new midpoint so midpoint is the bisection so we bisect it so vl plus v so we'll get vm now here if v if f of vm is zero then vm will be the root if it is not then if that v f vm and if VL have the positive opposite signs, then updated interval will be VL and VM. And then uh, that uh, otherwise we have to change the interval VM to VU. And it repeat that step until that P uh, until that desired accuracy is achieved. Means at least uh, in the particular V, there should be small. Uh, if we calculate that function of V, so that will be very small. Now here uh another method so that way that way we can do another way of bisection so this is delting long equation so first we are taking the two value vl that is i we know our little gas so we are choosing a very less value so 0 0.30 and also choose vu greater than v ideal, v ideal 0 0.66 let's say vl is 1.30 now uh, here we are calculating pl and pu at that particular vl is equal to 0 0.30 and vl is 1.30 now again also calculate the midpoint so that vl plus vu by 2 so now calculate pm at that vm now here if p is equal to 56 in that interval vl and vm then vm will be the vu and if that p is equal to 9 56 is the interval vm and vu then vm will be vl vm will be the new vl and we can repeat that step and we can get 
uh, that uh, molar volume now here uh, uh, another way another another value we can take and similar positive if we follow we'll get that now here uh, if this is the table in the table bisection method is applied so this is the equation okay now first we choose vl vl is 0 0.25 and vm is 0 0.7 sorry upper lower value is 0 0.25 upper value is 1.25 now uh, for vl 0 0.25 what will be the pressure 1031 this and vu and 1.25 what will be the pressure 27.5 now in between obviously uh, that p is equal to 56 is there so now we are bisect that so 0 0.25 plus 1.25 so that is 0 0.75 so now here uh, uh, we are taking that v is equal to 0 0.7 and we are going to calculate uh, from this equation and we are getting 43.7 now you can say that our desired value means p is equal to 56 obviously p56 will be in between so pl and pm so now our new v will be 1.25 uh, 0.75 now again we will we can bisect 0.50 and then we will get 61.7 now he, now here this is 60.1 our desired value is 56 so now range will be so this one range will be this one okay then we can bisect and then again we will get 51 uh, that at vm value that is 51.2 now here this and this will be the interval like that way we can easily calculate uh, that uh, vm value means molar volume value so here by using bisection method also we are getting you know, that molar volume 0 0.56 at p is equal to 56 now second is newton raphson method so again we know that is the relic long equation now you we, we, we have to reorganize an equation become like that fb is equal to p minus rt b minus b uh, ay b uh, b plus b now here uh, we have that fb so now uh, when are going to use the newton reaction method so newton reaction method is this vn plus 1 is equal to vn minus fb by f dash vn so first we have to calculate fbn and then we have choose the initial guess and then we have to do the reiteration and finally we will get the root of the equation now here so fb is this and f dash v rt v minus b squared minus we can we can easily calculate what will be the first order differential so that is actually d f v by dv you can do that so after that we choose the initial gas from the ideal gas law so after uh, 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 getting the initial gas we can calculate uh, uh, by using neutral reaction method so now at f of fv at v is equal to 0 0.6 what is the fv value that is 70.2.5 what will be the f dash v so that is minus 375.1 now we can calculate v1 v1 is 0 0.66 minus this and we will get 0 0.36 like that we can next uh, v1 will be the gas and then we can do the calculation when vfb less than 0 0.001 or 0 so that uh, that time we can say that v will be the root of the equation now here uh, i am giving the table so this is the uh, okay so this is some some other value initial guess and we are calculating ultimately we are getting this we can also choose uh, choose uh, that v ig is equal to 0 0.66 and after uh, 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 if we choose this one and if we do the calculation we will get that that uh, at I mean we will get the root of the equation so root will be that 0 0.56 liter per mole. next uh, interpolation method so this is the reading long equation so we know that linear interpolation is straight line equation is y2 minus y1 x2 minus x1 y minus y1 x minus x1 now from here we are going so y is here p and x is actually v so now we are going to calculate uh, x v so x will be y minus y1 x2 minus x1 y2 minus y1 plus x1 so now here we need the two data points and from that the data point we can calculate so p is actually given so we can get that uh, new v and from that we can calculate uh, and that new v whether we are getting the p or not again we have to check like that way we can uh, easily get um, uh, molar volume in particular temp pressure now here i am giving 
so how do you do that so now here our equation is bn is equal to if, if we use the still line equation so that equation in terms of b and p that will be like that now we have that two data points so we are choosing that two data point like earlier in bisection method we choose that data that data points and we are using that data point so here bl and pl that is 0 0.25 and corresponding pl is 101.3 on 0 3.1 and v upper limit and p in that v p will be 1.25 and 27.5 now and I, we know p is equal to 56 and are we are going to calculate vn now in that vn now calculate p so here we are getting this one so that is not matching because p is actually 56 okay now in that uh, that if p 56 is the in the interval uh, in the interval if p56 uh, is the interval then vn will be 0 0.86 okay then vn this and th that will be new view so like it is a bisection kind of things oh, we can do that and we can do the iteration now here again i am giving uh, one table so first we are taking vl and view okay and we are calculating by using the interpolation okay and then we are calculating um, that in that vn what will be the p now that p you can see that uh, that our actual p is 56 right okay so that is in the interval pl and pn so next time uh, bl we have to choose the corresponding this value we have to choose that bl corresponding this value we have to choose this okay and then now we'll get uh, uh, all we'll, we'll get the desired value now if we do that or finally we'll get 0 0.56 we'll get this so that that is the linear interpolation now successive substitution uh, we can use uh, we can we, we can um, by using successive substitution we also get uh, that our root of the equation so now we know that fb is equal to this now in the success substitution so vn will be some constant into fb okay so we have to choose that a will be small value and then uh, we have first we have to choose the ideal gas value that vn and then uh, we have to uh, do the calculation first we have to calculate fb and then v1 will be a into that fb okay so we have to do that calculation and uh, until unless and the desired value is achieved now here if you see that first we have to take this zero points ideal gas and then a b is my, minus 7.2 and um, and we are going to calculate this so b i plus 1 is nothing but a of a b a is 0 0.001 so by this way we can is calculate and we will see that a b value is 0 at 0 0.56 so that root of the equation is uh, 0 0.56 so that way we can uh, get the root of the equation that's it thank you